What is up, best ones worldwide? It's the best one, DBTV here, back with a brand new basketball video. If you're not a best one yet and you are a basketball fan, definitely recommend you to hit that subscribe button now. Turn on the post notifications because you already know the grind is real. And we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. We are 15 subs away from reaching this huge milestone. So, if I were you, I definitely would recommend you to hit that subscribe button now because we are going to be doing a giveaway when we reach that milestone. It might even be the next video. It might be the video after this. Who the hell knows? But um, before we get into today's video, um, two things I just want to say that are basketball related. One, my hat goes off to Lonzo freaking Ball, right? I am a huge Lonzo Ball fan. I've, I'm a fan of the um, all three Ball brothers, and I watch their show, Ball and the Family. I've been such a huge Lonzo fan since his days in um, Chino Hills, and I've been rooting for him since day one, and the fact that he is finally balling now in the NBA, especially during contract year, is huge, and I'm very happy that Lonzo is stepping up to the plate. Last night dropped 33 points, and man, the stats that want the statistics that Lonzo is putting up right now are a career high. And I'm hoping that Lonzo continues this momentum, keeps playing tough, and keeps hitting those shots consistently. And I'm hoping that um, Lonzo can come to the Eastern Conference. I like that he's playing with Zion and Brandon Ingram, but the West is just too stacked. And it would just be really cool to see um, Lonzo Ball play with a guy like Levine or even like see Lonzo maybe go to like a shit team, Detroit, and kind of see like what maybe he can do for a low poverty franchise and see if he can take them to the playoffs, kind of like what LaMelo Ball did with the um, Charlotte Hornets. Also, um, another thing I just want to say before we get into today's video as well that's basketball related is... Um, a lot of Net fans aren't going to be happy about this, and you know me, if I'm wrong and I take the L, I am proud to accept that L. And my hat goes off to the New York Knicks. What? I cannot believe I'm actually saying this. Um, the New York Knicks were the laughing stock of the NBA the last couple of seasons, but man, this season, the New York Knicks shut every hater up, including myself, because I am not a New York Knicks fan. I am a Brooklyn Nets fan since day one, and <laughs> I don't root for the Knicks, but they are balling right now, and I really thought this Tom Thibodeau um, head coaching position I thought was not going to work out kind of like it um, didn't work out in Minnesota I thought I thought the same thing was going to happen with the Knicks but man I was wrong Tom Thibodeau has made this team step up each and every player on that team is balling right now um, Randall is is a freaking all-star right now and he's always had promise I've always been a huge Randall fan also um, RJ Barrett has stepped up his sophomore season Plus, even Reggie Bullock, man. This guy is a role player for this Knicks team. He is hitting shots. And remind you, they're also winning games without um, their center, Mitchell Robinson. And also, I'm a huge Derrick Rose fan as well. And seeing him ball now for a team that's actually winning games makes me happy. But um, it's not. it sucks that the Knicks are actually doing good. But uh, my hat definitely goes off to them because... They are balling right now, and they're playing some really good basketball, and like LeBron says, the Knicks are winning, the NBA's better. <laughs> I don't believe that um, one bit, but good for the Knicks. Um, I'm happy that um, they finally are, you know, not the laughing stock as much anymore, and their hard work is paying off. But now... We need to get to this topic here because this is what the video is all about. What is wrong with the Brooklyn Nets? All right. There is one problem with this team. I watch these games. I watch these highlights. I 
and paying close attention to every single Brooklyn Nets game out there, and especially last night against Milwaukee, I have come to terms that DeAndre Jordan is washed up. He is trash now, and I'm telling you this right now. DeAndre Jordan cannot play a damn minute in the playoffs, all right? Because I want a ring. We traded our guys, Karis LeVert, Jared Allen, freaking Terry and Prince, all of these freaking assets for a freaking superstar, James Harden. Yes, at first I was very upset about the James Harden trade because the way he played in Houston was very selfish. But he came to Brooklyn with a whole different attitude and he has been balling for this team. And there is no time for scrubs anymore. It is time to compete. I want a ring. I know all the Brooklyn Nets fans out there want a ring. We have the pieces. We have the superstars. We have it all. We do not need lazy sloths like DeAndre Jordan out there playing. Why? Why, Steve Nash, are you letting DeAndre Jordan, this slow-ass motherfucker, guard Greek Freak, Giannis, freaking back-to-back -back MVP? Oh my god, I don't understand what the mindset is. Why the hell is Nicholas Claxton not getting minutes? The man only played five damn minutes last night. And he was actually playing good out there for five minutes. Then you take him out for Trash Jordan. You have to understand that we do not have the LA Clippers DeAndre Jordan. Maybe we don't even have the LA Clippers Blake Griffin. But that's not an excuse! Blake Griffin is still playing good! He's playing his role! DeAndre Jordan is just looking stupid out there! This is why I was so happy about the Nets signing LaMarcus Aldridge to this team. Because when the reports came out that DeAndre Jordan was not playing a damn minute, I jumped out of my freaking bed. That's how happy I was, because DeAndre Jordan just looks lost out there. He looks lost. He needs freaking backpacking the map for crying out loud. That's how bad he's lost. It's horrible. There's no way that this Brooklyn Nets team wins a championship with DeAndre Jordan in the starting lineup. He should be playing only 10 minutes or less. Maybe even 5 minutes. Maybe 0 minutes. It's disappointing. This man's getting paid, for, he got a four-year, $40 million contract just to stand around. Just to stand around. Oh, it's five on four when DeAndre Jordan's out there playing. You wonder why Giannis dropped 49 freaking points the other game. And then this game, he dropped like 30-something. Things have got to change in this rotation. I don't know why they're not playing Nicholas Claxton. Nicholas Claxton is showing lots of promise, and he does play good with these guys. Also, we really need to have James Harden back. That is the best basketball we play, is when James Harden is the one being ball dominant and running the plays, making the plays. Sean Marks. He needs to get those minutes cut! Because I know right now the chances of us winning a ring with DeAndre Jordan out there guarding Giannis. Guarding Giannis, guys! Giannis freaking, oh my god! It's sad. And this season, we need to go all out and we need to win. There's no more excuses. Also, they need to sign Mike James for the rest of the freaking year. Because Mike James has been doing very good. And he looks very confident out there as well. And he should be probably getting a couple more minutes as well. But, that was my rant about DeAndre Jordan. He is the one problem with this team that a lot of people aren't going to be saying because they just look at his Clipper days. Just like Blake Griffin, their Clipper days. But the real problem is... The super team is not because of DeAndre Jordan or Blake Griffin. Hell, it's not even because of Kyrie, KD, and Harden. Yes, they're a big three, but you're forgetting weapons like Joe Harris, Spencer Dinwiddie when he comes back, 
Hopefully he comes back for the playoffs. Also, Nicholas Claxton, Jeff Green. There are so many under... Oh, freaking Landry Shamit. There are lots of underrated pieces that make this team a threat. It's not <laughs> lazy DeAndre Jordan. I'm telling you that right freaking now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button now. Um, one like equals one prayer because... <laughs> Maybe the more likes we get, maybe freaking Steve Nash will see all these likes and he'll see that we want DeAndre Jordan not playing. He should not be in the rotation. If you're not a best one yet and you're a basketball fan, hit that subscribe button now. Turn on the post notifications. Videos just come out of nowhere. Links down in the description below. Um, go check out my other channels on uh, um, Best One Network. That's the main channel. We got lots of awesome content over there. And if you're into wrestling, I um, definitely recommend you to check out We Are Wrestling. Those two links are down below. Also, to all the best ones out there worldwide, let's get this channel to 1,000 subscribers because we are taking over. Peace.